Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I will be giving you my round three NRL tips of 2023. Now, last week, I managed to get a dreadful three out of eight games correct. It was so revolting last week. So the only games I got correct were the Roosters over the Warriors, only just. Dolphins over the Raiders. Ra Dolphins came back. Um, s somehow and beat them and then my other game I got correct was the Knights game they only won by two and probably the worst game of 2023 I've seen so far but every other game was very close but the Bulldogs surprised me but we'll get into that um, once we get into the tipping video so three out of eight what can I say terrible I hope I can do better this week but, without further ado, let's get into round 3 of the 2023 NRL tipping. And the first game kicking off um, round 3 of the NRL is between the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles and the Parramatta Eels. Manly enjoyed a week off after winning their first game of the, of the year in round 1 against the Canterbury Bull Bulldogs where they won 31 points to 6. Unreal performance from Manly, while the Eels only just lost to the Cronulla Sh Sharks, this time by 4 points again like they did against Melbourne in Round 1, where Eels lost this time 30 points to 26 in an entertaining game at Combank. Now, unfortunately, Manly, sorry, no, Parramatta, sorry, do start 0-2, which uh, it's going to be a bit tough for them to win this game as well. Now, in the last couple, in, last ten encounters, both these teams have won five each way, so five games each. With uh, mainly winning three of the last five, but Parramatta winning um, the last two games. So, mainly have not won since 2021 against Parramatta. And the last time, mainly won at Lotto, or oh, it was called Lotto Land back in 2020. That mainly last beat Parramatta at Four Pines Park in 2020 where they won 22-18. Now who do I see winning in this game? Well, I'm so, sorry Parramatta fans, I have tipped the Eels in the last two games, but I, I'm going to back up Manly for this game. I reckon Manly will win this game 1-12 by 8 points with a scoreline of 24-16. After from what I've seen from Manly in round 1, it seems like they can get better in round three. Three. While the Eels, it seems like they're going to be struggling for a bit. But I, I reckon they can... I mean, I won't be surprised if they do win this game. It will be great for them to finally get a win. But I'm back in Manly to win 1-12. The first of two Friday games. The first one kicking off at 6pm is taking place between the, Me the Newcastle Knights and the Dolphins. Occurring at McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle, so the Knights will have their first home game of 2023. Oh, how was last week's game against the um, Tigers? The Knights and Tigers game was absolutely dreadful. The T Knights won this game by the skin of their teeth. That had to be the worst game I've seen so far in 2023. I don't think it can't get any worse than that um, in the future with this year, but I could be wrong. But anyways, while the Dolphins went on to win back-to-back -back home games, first against the Roosters and now against the Canberra Raiders, Dolphins were 10 points or so down, and they managed to come back to win the game 20 points to 14. Everyone wrote it off the Dolphins already um, at the start of the year. Well, looks what look what's happened now. They're, pre they're pretty much the best Queensland team alongside the Broncos at the moment. But, um, so there is no history between these two teams, as this will be the first clash um, between the two. And this will be the first time the Dolphins have travelled outside of New South Wales. Not in Sydney, but in New South Wales. They will not return to Sydney until later in a couple of weeks. But, for this game, honestly, I will have to back the Dolphins. 
I, I don't, after watching that night's performance um, against the Tigers, I don't see the Knights winning this game. I see the Dolphins winning 13 plus by 20 points with a scoreline of 36 16. I'm sorry, Newcastle supporters. That's what I just see happening. And also, Knights have got many players out. Like so, they got they got Tyson Frizzell and Jack Johns both with ankle injuries. It's going to be unlike, unlikely they'll um, to, um, play as it's a five-day turnaround for the um, Knights. And also they lost their cap- both of their captains, Jane Braley and Kalen Ponga, to um, HIAs. And I, I don't think they're going to return on Friday. Especially Ponga. After having, this is, I, think, I believe that's the fourth concussion he's had in ten months. I think he has to retire, honestly. I don't see him playing... That many games this year. I mean, honestly, if he gets one more concussion, that's th- that's it. He's done for his career. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what the Knights team list will be like when it comes out on Tuesday. But Dolphins are usually winning 13+. plus. I also forgot to mention this, guys. It just came up as well. Knights prop Jacob Safidi will be facing a five-match ban for his high tackle on the Tigers hooker, Jake Sink. Sinking um, against the Tigers. He was sent off in the 65 minutes, which was the correct decision. Jake Simkin looked like he lost it. Uh, I mean, that was such a dangerous tackle. So he's suspended for five games, so he will not return until round eight. So he's out for round three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. As if it couldn't get any more worse for the Knights. But anyways, like I said, Dolphins, 13+. And the final game, ending off Friday night, is the heated rivalry, the most is, the most blood feud rivalry of the current NRL is between the Sydney Roosters and my team, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, taking place at Allianz Stadium. Oh, this is going to be such an exciting contest. Now, with last week, Roosters managed to f- pick up their first win of the season. Only narrowly just beating the Warriors 20 points to 12. Seems like the Warriors could have won that game. And if they did, I would have been um, surprised and amazed. But in the, in the end, Roosters put in an effort and they managed to win 20 points to 12. While the Rabbitohs were compl- completely, completely lost last week for the majority of the game. As they didn't score a single point until the 65th minute of the game. Or 66th minute rather. And Rabbitohs managed to spark a comeback. Almost going to probably tie the almost going to tie the game against the Panthers, but Panthers were too good. So Panthers, sorry, Rabbitohs lost 16-10. Now going into this match, the last encounter between these two, it was all I can say is seven seven sin bins, sin bin Sunday. I'll be surprised if we get many... Well, I won't be surprised if we get a lot of Simbins in this game. But after the last encounter, the Rabbits would win 30-14. to 14 And eliminate the Roosters from the finals. Now, there's a couple key players out for both teams. Now, Roosters have lost a couple other players like Bradley and... Um, Radley and a couple other players, but they, they'll they'll be welcoming back Jared Maria Hargraves most likely, as it's stated that he's returning from his back slash hamstring injury in round three, while the Bunnies are going to be welcoming back Hamal Sale, Tavia Totola, and possibly Jacob Host if they are named in the team list or on the reserves. It really sucked that Totola didn't play last week due to his head knock from round one against the Sharks. Now, Jai Arrow, I have no idea when he'll return. He'll pro- he'll pro- he might return this week. Uh, he might return. Who knows? But they will be welcome additions back to the team. Nothing wrong with Sir so- so for Fafita. It's just not the same without Totola in our squad, as he's the more do- he's the more better prop than Sir so- 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 Fafita. Now, for this game as well, 
I will be attending this game, so I will be attending my first official NRL game of 2023. Now, yes, you may ask, didn't you go to a game in the trials? Yes, I did, but that was the trials. I'm talking about the regular season. This will be my first official game I'm going to end. I will be doing a vlog as well for this game, so I'm very excited and very pumped. And for my last couple of visits to Sydney, my last four, three out of the four visits... To stadiums, I've been to Allianz, so I've been to round 25. I went to the finals a game against the Sharks at Allianz, and now I'm going to my third game in a row at Allianz. In the other game I'm talking about, I've been to the one on the Central Coast, um, in Justin Group Stadium or whatever it's called. But I am very excited to go head down to my first game of the season. But anyways, we'll have to wait and see who'll win this one. Now, in the last 10 encounters, now the Rabbitohs have been the more dominant team over the Roosters, as the Rabbits have won 7 of their past 10 encounters, which includes winning 5 of the past 6 games. So, we've had the wood over the Roosters pretty much. The last time what Roosters beat, beat us was in the round 25 in cat clash against the Rabbits, which was a brand new Allianz Stadium opening. I was at that game where only lost 26-16. Then, then, then before that, the, Roos, the last time the Roosters beat us before round 25 was in 2020, where we where they won 28-12. But regardless, this should be such an exciting encounter. Now, both these teams have played at Allianz as well twice. They both got one eight, one game each apiece at Allianz, with the Roosters winning round 25 and the Rabbits winning in the week one of the finals. Who do I see winning this game? Obviously, I will back my boys in this heat rivalry. And sorry if I've talked too much as well. I'm just very excited for this game. So I'll be backing my boys, the Bunnies. I'm 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 thinking the Bunnies will bounce back after last week's horrible encounter against the Panthers. So I reckon the Bunnies will win. 1 to 12, I reckon they will win by. I'm going to go 4 points with a score line. It's going to be high scoring. I'm going to go 32 28. And I'm going to say this Auto Latrell Mitchell, yes, he was racially, racially abused last week. And I'm not very happy about it. I reckon he's going to come out pumping, scoring a double. You, get, you, hear, you, heard, you heard it from me. He'll score a double against his former club on Friday night. So, Rabbits to win 6 by 6 Our first of three Super Saturday games kicks off at 3pm here in New South Wales, 2pm up there in Queensland, which is between the Gold Coast Titans and the Melbourne Storm. Now, both of these teams did lose in their respective games last week. Well, I'll go Titans first. Titans led 12 points to 2. At one point in, in the first half between them and the Dragons. The Dragons miraculously went on to score at un, 30 unanswered points with 5 unanswered tries um, f for the rest of the game before the Titans would score one more try to lose 32-18. How is that possible after the Titans done very well against the Tigers? I mean, well, it was the Tigers that they won against, but whatever. So Titans, they got a lot to improve. While the Melbourne Storm were shockingly defeated by the Canary Bankstown Bulldogs. Bulldogs would, would score 26 unanswered points in the first half, not scoring a single point in the second half. And Storm managed to come back to score 12 points. It seemed like they could have come back, but they didn't. Melbourne lost 26-12 in a shocking, in a shocking upset. Bulldogs had not won in Melbourne since 2016. Sorry, Bulldogs had not won in 2016 at Amy Park. That is unreal. Now, in the last 10 counts between these two teams, Melbourne have had the wood over the Titans. The Titans are a, are a bogey team to Melbourne. As Melbourne have won 9 of the past 10 counters, which includes winning the last 8 games in a row. Unbelievable. So... Gold Coast have not won, have not won against Melbourne since 2017, and that was at some court stadium. And the last time that the Titans won 
um, at um, CBUS, or was known as Skill Park in 2013, was in 2013 when they beat the Storm in 2013 when they won 18-12 against Melbourne. So it's been a decade since the Eel, sorry, since the Titans have won in Gold Coast against the Storm against Melbourne. Unbelievable. All right, so for this game, really, I'll, I'm going to back up Melbourne. I thought Eel Auto Melbourne were defeated by. Um, the Bulldogs. I think they will rebound. You rarely see them go back to back. Yes, injuries have hampered them. I think we could see a return or two um, back in Melbourne for this week. Wait and see if with the team list coming out tomorrow. So, so, right, so I'll back Melbourne to win 1-12 by 12 points. I, I, could, I could see it's being a high scoring affair. Who knows? If Melbourne win 13 plus, I won't be surprised. So Storm to win 1-12. Our second game on the Saturday kicks off at 5.30 here in New South Wales. 4.30 in Queensland and 7.30 over there in New Zealand. It's between the North Queensland Cowboys and the New Zealand Warriors. The Warriors are coming off almost a narrow w- a narrow loss over the Roosters as they just lost 20 points to 12. I think the Warriors looked okay in that game um, against the Roosters as they lost only 20 points to 12. Well, the Cowboys, oh boy, they were defeated by the Brisbane Broncos. Twi- they were leading 10 points to nil um, at a stage in the first half before the Broncos would bounce back to win. Unbelievable. And also, the Cowboys will be at, will be without two players um, um, for, this, for a couple of rounds, which I'll get into in a second. But anyways, the last 10 encounters between the two teams, the Warriors and the Cowboy- Cowboys, um, th- they have won five each apiece, with the Warriors winning the last three of five, and the wa- and with the Warriors, sorry, with the Cowboys winning the last encounter, 48 points to four, also at Queensland Country Bank Stadium, back in 2022. Yeah, so Broncos won 28-16 against the Cowboys, so Broncos would would score. Um, twenty. Tw- they would score an unanswered twenty-two, around twenty points or so. F- um, f- um, before Cowboys would score to go- before they would score. Um, another try later in the game. But anyways, who do I see winning this game? Yeah, I met mention um, the two players, Pettihiku and Scott Drinkwater. Pettihiku is um, out for two games. Is suspended for two games, so he will miss rounds f- three and four. Well, Scott Drinkwater, their full back, is out for three games for a suspension, so he's out for rounds three, f- sorry, f- rounds three, four, and five. But I reckon the Cowboys will get the job done here. Now they say it is tough to beat the Cowboys up there in Queensland. Well, maybe not for this round, so I'm, I will be tipping the Cowboys, but I reckon they will win by six points. Against the Warriors, I reckon they will win with a scoreline of 16-10. With the Cowboys just winning. And the final game, kicking off here at 7.35pm here in New South Wales. 6.35pm in Queensland. Wow, all three Queensland teams um, have... The, all three Saturday games are all up in Queensland. That's a rarity, that's a rarity to see. <laughs> it's, the, it's between the Brisbane Broncos. In the St George Illawarra Dragons at Suncorp Stadium. Now, last week the Dragons managed to score 30 unanswered points, as the Titans led 12 points to two at one point before Dragons would go on to win 32 points to 18 against the Dragon uh, uh, against the Titans. My apologies, down there at Nostrata at Nostrata Jubilee. So the Dragons have got their first win of the season, while the Broncos managed to beat the Queensland North Queensland Cowboys in their lo- local Queensland Derby, or Queensland ri- Rivalry Derby, ri- rather, but whatever. And Cowboys led 10-0 at one point before the Broncos will go on to win 28-16. So good on the Broncos for going back-to-back on the start of the year. Now, in the past 10 encounters, the 
Dragons um, have won six of the past ten encounters, which includes winning, um, which includes winning six of the past seven games. So the Brisbane Broncos have not won. Um, so in recent clashes, the Broncos have struggled against the Dragons, but the Broncos did beat the. The Broncos did beat the Dragons last year, 32 points to 18. Um, also at some court stadium, so I'll give them that. But who do I see winning this game? Now, both of these teams are undefeated. Well, Broncos are, because they got two wins. Dragons, technically, they are undefeated. They've only played one game, because of the bye. But whoever wins this game, one team will remain undefeated, unless it's a draw which are highly unlikely um, that will happen. But I definitely see Brisbane winning... F I definitely see Brisbane winning three straight um, games to start the year. It's unbelievable of how they've been. So I'm, I'm going to give Broncos the win. I'm going to go Broncos to go 1-12 to by 10 points with a scoreline of 26-16. And unfortunately, Corey Oates is also out for at least for the next 6-8 to eight weeks due, due to a broken draw I believe so he, they're gonna say so he's gonna be so it's a big blow for Broncos but I think Broncos will have it covered I think they'll do pretty well without Corey Oates I hope they um, do very well but anyways Broncos to win by 10 points our first of two Sunday um games which the first one kicks off at 4 p.m. or 4.05 p.m. it's between the Canary Bank Sound Bulldogs and the West Tigers the first Bulldogs home game for the year taking place at Belmore Sports Ground. Or Belmore Stadium, or whatever it's called. Um, so last week, the Tigers, what can I say? They were in the... They can't get... They, I think they can get... I can't see them getting any more worse, right? Other than scoring no points. They were dreadful against the bloody Knights. Like, Knights lost... Dom Young for 10 minutes due to a um, sit, um they lost Dom Young because he was sin min so and the Tigers didn't score at all during that period so the Tigers came back from 10 nil down and they almost got the job done but anyway that was the worst game I've ever seen in 2023 so far but anyways, so Tigers lost last week 14 points to 12. Well, on the other side of the spectrum the Bulldogs Pulled a shocking upset against the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, granted, Melbourne had injuries to key players, but injuries tend to happen for every team. The Bulldogs scored 26 unanswered points in the first half and didn't score a single point in the second half. Wow. So, I'll give them that. Bulldogs deserved that win after they were belted against the Manly Sea Eagles. Um, in round one, 20, 31 points to f um, six. Unbelievable. All right, so in the past ten encounters, the ti Bulldogs and Tigers have won five games each, with the Tigers winning the f with the Tigers winning four of the past six. Now this will be the first time that these two teams will clash at Belmont. Belmore Sports Ground. Yeah, yes, I know the Tigers had a trial game at Bel Belmore um, early in the year against the Raiders, I believe, yeah, at the trials, but um, that's not um, counted towards the official um, tally for Belmore Sports Ground venue um, games and that. So it'll be a tough task for the Tigers um, to win this one. It's their first time ever at this ground. So I definitely see the so for my tip I'm going the Bulldogs to win. I think Bulldogs easily win. Bulldogs to win 13 plus by 18 points with a scoreline of 24 points to 6. And the final game wrapping up round 3 is between the Canberra Raiders and the Cronulla Sharks down there at GIO Stadium. Now this will be the Raiders' first official home game of this year, as they are back on their home territory against the Cronulla Sharks. Now Raiders last week went down to the Dolphins, only just losing 20 points to 14. They, they Raiders did lead 10 nil at one point or 12 nil, whichever. And somehow the Dolphins came back and Raiders um, did they did tie it up 14 all, but 
unfortunate errors and lack of <coughs> lack of communication is what the Dolphins um, went over and scored a try. 24-8 while the Sharks managed to win their first game of the year against the Parramatta Eels in an entertaining game. Only just winning by four points. 30 points to 26 um, there at Combank Stadium. Unbelievable. That was such a... A great game. I even think that was game of the round, honestly, but that's a bit too much. But anyway, so we'll just wait. So in the past ten counts between the two, the Raiders have been the more dominant team. As they have won eight of the past ten encounters, which we, Raiders have won the uh, have won eight of their past ten, past ten encounters. My apologies against the Sharks, which includes. Winning the last eight games, so the Sharks have not beaten the Raiders since 2018. And that was at um, Points Bet Stadium, or was known as Southern Cross Stadium. And the last time the Raiders lost to the Sharks at G GIO Stadium was also in 2018, where they lost 24-16 to the Sharks. So it's been f five years since... Um, since the Sharks have won um, at GIO Stadium. Wow. But, anyway, so who do I see winning this game? I, it's a bit tough for call, but I am I will back the Sharks to win the win this game by 6 points, so 1-12. to 12. I definitely, sorry Raiders fans, I know it's a bit tough for them because they've started with two close losses, but I definitely see the Sharks just going over the try line in the final few minutes. So the Sharks to win six, sorry, 18 points to 12 by 6 points. Anyways everyone, that will conclude my round 3 NRL tipping video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Now we are only 3 subscribers away from 700 subscribers. So if we can reach that milestone by the end of today or even tomorrow that will be really appreciated guys just want to say thank you very much to all who have subscribed to the channel since the beginning of this channel but anyways this I'm hoping for this round I will do better in my tipping I only got free in last week's in round two that was really awful <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see I reckon this round will be a lot more better um, this season has been very close so far for winning margins. Not many 13 plus games. I mean, we only had two 13 plus games last week, and that was the Bulldogs beating Melbourne 26-12, and then you got the Dragons beating the Gold Coast Titans 32-18. So this this might be one very close season. And I so if I haven't mentioned the bias as well. Dragons had to buy in round one, mainly had to buy last week, and Panthers enjoy their buy. So Panthers will remain with one win and one loss by the end of round three. It will be, inter it'll be interesting where they will be placed after this round. But anyways, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the NRL tipping video. I, I will see you for the Super League tipping video tomorrow at some point. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.